In this video, we want to cover launch angles, particularly how overhead and floor-based launch monitors measure it differently. Most launch monitors need to be aligned perfectly to have the most reliable data. So that includes being level, being level with the ball, proper distance from the ball, aligned perfectly to the target, and more. If it's misaligned, you'll still get accurate ball data, but the horizontal or vertical launch angle will be off by however much the alignment is off. So for example, if your launch monitor is misaligned by say two degrees, if your ball was traveling one degree to the left, your launch monitor could potentially tell you that the ball is actually traveling one degree to the right. Floor-based launch monitors are particularly sensitive to horizontal misalignment. With that being said, because of its angle of view of the ball, it's a lot easier to get a more accurate vertical launch angle reading, which translates over to distance from something like this iMini, than it is to get the horizontal launch angle um, or the distance that the ball is gonna be traveling right or left, unless you're really spending time to make sure that the launch monitor is lined up perpendicular to your screen. Conversely, Overhead launch monitors like the IXO2 read opposite, where they are more easily able to detect the horizontal launch angle, right or left, as opposed to the vertical launch angle, just because of its positioning. So all that being said, both launch monitors are gonna be really accurate. It's just that each one has a little bit of a leg up in different areas because of how they read the ball. So let's do a test showing the vertical launch angle and horizontal launch angle for a floor and overhead launch monitor on the same shot. So when looking at the launch angle, first of all, uh, for that shot, you can see on our uh, the scale that we have on the screen, the ball impacted you know, probably a little more than halfway between uh, nine and 10 degrees. When we look at the launch angle that we got from the iMini, we got uh, 9.9 .9 degrees. On the iXO2, it came out to 8.9 degrees. So that's you know about what we would expect. Uh, the iMini is gonna have an easier time reading that vertical launch angle since it's sitting next to the ball. It can see it a lot easier. The iXO sitting overhead, um, it's not as easy to see the launch angle where the side angle uh, for the iMini, it was 0.9 right. For the iXO2, it was three degrees left. And if we look at the replay of the shot, you can see the ball is actually going slightly to the left, which again is what we would expect. The overhead launch monitor is looking down at the ball, so it's easier to see easier for it to see which direction the ball is going right or left as opposed to up and down. With the iMini, it's looking sideways at the ball, so it's easier for that to see the vertical launch angle than it is the horizontal. The distances uh, on that last shot were a bit off. The uh, iMini read probably about 10 to 12 yards longer than the iXO2 did. Uh, that's because it was measuring a higher vertical launch angle, so it was giving the ball more distance. So that distance overall we would assume to be more accurate because that iMini can see the launch angle a lot better than the iXO2 can. Uh, conversely, the direction that the ball traveled uh, is probably going to be a little more accurate from the iXO than it is from the Mini because that can see the actual direction the ball's flying better than the iMini can. So in short, overhead launch monitors tend to be more accurate with flight path and floor launch monitors more accurate with carry distance. The differences are very minor, but they are most present when you hit with a driver. The simple answer to fix this issue is making sure your overhead launch monitor is nice and level. The simplest way to do that is using a bubble level and recalibrating your launch monitor. So in summary, if you feel like your data is off, make sure you check your launch monitor alignment, just keeping in mind where your launch monitor is positioned. You might need to either adjust your floor-based launch monitor so it's more perpendicular to the screen, or adjust the pitch in your overhead launch monitor to be level with the floor. So that's a rundown of launch angles and how it's affected by different launch monitors and their positioning. So we hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And if you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.